hey welcome to my channel if this is your first time of coming by here hello and if you are a wonderful returning subscriber hello hello so today's story is really a touching one it's really a sad one it's about um this beautiful soul epidioni ikadolo ikodalo god i hope i pronounced the name well yeah she's the wife of pastor itua ikudalo the founder of the trinity christian church this beautiful lady you saw died of cardiac arrest and the early hours of the morning on monday in her hotel room in Port river state where she went to work he's not just a pastor's wife she was also the chief executive officer that is she was the ceo of elizabeth r which happens to be a leading public relation and event management company she was running this company it was a very good one it was really prosperous yeah it was a very it was a well-known company and also to add to that she used to be a former nigerian beauty queen like she is so beautiful you don't need to no one to tell you that she is a beautiful woman and why this i said the story is touching you might be wondering why is so touching like this lady is not just a beauty queen she's not just beauty outwardly she was beauty inwardly she was beautiful like i don't i, I never heard about her i've never heard about her until her death and just going through so many things that people are saying about her i just wondered how she stayed in this world you know she's just too good people like her are just rare in fact people like her don't stay in this country because she was just too good okay you're wondering what is making her too good let me tell you a little bit i had i got to know about her okay yes she's pastor's wife but this lady was actually she was never a mother of her own kids if you understand what i mean she never actually biologically gave birth but she adopted two beautiful children now not just not because of the whole adoption thing like because of maybe i don't know the full story but the passion she has in her life is just to make sure that every woman has or have the opportunity to carry their own child and that is why i heard she has a or she had a foundation which happens to be Ipiduni Ikodalu Foundation. This her foundation supported couples who were having difficulty in having children. This is a lady who biologically could not have or didn't have her own children and she was giving opportunity to women who was going through fertility problem who couldn't naturally take in yeah that was actually what this her foundation was all about like this lady is an angel she was an angel on earth she was an angel in a toxic world you know i don't know i don't know just how to describe her ever since i read her story i after reading her story i kept asking myself how did she do it how did she do it and the story has it that like i don't know when i'm going through her story i'm just seeing someone who is just too good she she touched a lot of life she touched a lot of life just a few days ago before her demise she went to visit her dad's um graveyard yeah she went to visit her dad's graveyard to she said she was missing her dad and she just had to go there you know she really cried in the video and um, a lot of speculations have come a lot of people are saying this one and that one about her death and everything the report has it that she died of cardiac arrest and some persons like our famous Kimi Ululundu Ululundu has come out to say that it could be um a murder you know it's case, a homicide case you know a lot of persons are calling us just because of um 
after her demise the husband who happens to be a pastor actually went that day to actually conduct a burial service for one of their members son you know and a lot of people are saying how can your wife die and you are coming out and saying it's such a lie in the video the man said that he got a devastating call around 2 a.m and that call devastated his life a lot of people are feeling like he did not actually show remorse you know but what have you that is just it everybody can come out and make their speculations some people are like you don't tell people how to mourn but whatever it is um the letter story has it of what this beautiful so wanted to do on her birthday which was coming up next month and she said all she wanted to do was to help 40 couples to have their babies so apparently this was her last message to celebrity photographer ty bello about her plans on her birthday that was coming up on in july so it hurts so much that such a beautiful soul have left this world like i say she's a queen like she's an angel she was just an angel who was in a toxic um, environment an angel who was not meant to be here i don't know how someone is so free like the joy she has is always smiling people who came in contact with her called her an angel she has touched lots and lots of her homes she has made so many women happy in their homes like she's just an angel who was just taken out of this bitter world and i know wherever she is at this moment she is in a better place so may her soul rest in peace amen